Listen, we're about to hit 2026. Are you still sick with some weird symptoms? If you have extreme fatigue, brain fog, long COVID, or autoimmune issues, you are being lied to. You've been told it's all in your head. You've been told to manage your symptoms. You've been prescribed pills that numb you while you rot from the inside out. LDN or benzos, anybody? They want you sick. A cured patient is a lost customer. But to be fair, no doctor really understands chronic illness. But what if I told you there is a way to not just treat yourself, but to incinerate the disease entirely? While this isn't medical advice, this might be the key against the parasites destroying your life. Welcome to the Scorch Protocol. The Scorch Protocol isn't a just take these pills type of approach. It is a structured, ruthless system designed to do one thing, burn the remaining pathogens and rebuild your body. It attacks the root cause of chronic illness. There's lots of root causes, but mainly things like viral persistence, nervous system dysfunction, and metabolic hibernation. Okay, Your body has been beaten up and it never recovered. You have viruses and pathogens hiding in hard-to-reach places, places where your immune system can't even get to. The Scorch Protocol flushes them out and burns it all down and then helps the body regrow properly. Have you heard that term before? Burn it down before we build it back up? So you might be asking things like, how does it do that? How does the Scorch Protocol actually do that? Well, we use dry fasting. No food, no water. Yes, you heard that correctly. I know it sounds crazy. But you'll die. Wrong. You create metabolic water. Your body is smart. When you cut off external water, your body starts hunting. It hunts down inflammation, damaged cells, sludgy lymph, and of course, fat cells. It strips the hydrogen from these six cells to make water. Ideally, it burns the trash to keep the machine running. Think of it like an incredibly efficient recycling system. This isn't... This... This is the furnace. It triggers autophagy three times faster than water fasting. It scrubs the brain. It scrubs the spine. It is the only thing that reaches deep enough. And God knows we need to reach deep. So what happens after the dry fast? Well, in the second part of the Scorch Protocol, we need to tackle metabolism. Most of you are walking around with a low body temperature. You are in a hibernation-like state. Some people call this torpor. I call it being a zombie. You can't heal if you are cold. The Scorch Protocol uses T3 therapy to artificially rev up the engine. It forces the thyroid to wake up. You need energy to heal. Get that through your head. If your metabolism is slow, your stem cells are asleep. T3 bridges the gap. It makes you oxidize glucose again. It turns you from a sluggish, sick victim into a healing machine. Okay, so where are we now? You burn the bad with dry fasting. You rev the engine with T3 therapy. And now we rebuild to the max. For this part, the Scorch Protocol uses human growth hormone. Okay, HGH therapy. As one of the key methods... To regenerate the body with special emphasis on things like the thymus gland. Don't sleep on the thymus gland. The thymus is the school for your immune system. It's how we can look at it. If your thymus is shriveled up, which it often is in chronic illness, your immune system is basically uneducated and weak. It can't train immune cells like T cells correctly. So what we do is we rebuild the school. We train a new immune system, one that isn't confused, one that actually attacks the virus, not your own body. Okay, listen to me. This protocol is not for the weak. It is hard. It is uncomfortable. But do you want comfort or do you want your life back? Do you want to spend the next 20 years in a dark room with fatigue? Or do you actually want to run again? Do you want childlike energy? 
I'm serious. The medical system has nothing for you, okay? You have to save yourself. So check the description for the Scorch Protocol, look at the decision tree, read the preparation guide, get to know it. And as always, good luck on your healing journey.